Hello, this is Michelle Knight, and this is your fortnightly weekly astrology. I'm doing two weeks for the next two weeks because I'm going on a trip for three weeks for work, and hopefully by the time I come back, my face will be totally healed. For those wonderful people that have asked how I am, the swelling has gone down, but I'm still covered in a scaly red rash. Lovely. Anyway, the astrology for the next two weeks is quite extraordinary. We have a very, very unusual conjunction between Venus and Mars, and we also have a pentagram. So here's your weekly astrology. Sagittarius, your natural, effervescent and outgoing and spontaneous personality is really fueled by some of the fantastic things that happen over the next two weeks. Jupiter, your ruler, is helping you out and you're just feeling good. You know, your personality is just wonderful anyway, but this week it's you're on super form. And that starts off with the new super moon that is making you feel just very creative and very communicative expect unexpected communication expect different communication and also expect a big shift in your energy you're learning to communicate in a different way new moons are all about new beginnings and new super moons are like sweeping changes and again it's about communication for you what's changing in the way you communicate i don't know but it's great it's also the chinese new year of the friendly and compassionate goat make sure that you are compassionate with the words that you say because you really are very very talkative and as you know, you're famous for sometimes putting your foot in it, foot in it even, by being a little bit too blunt. On the 19th, you're thinking a lot about your home and your family and it comes to a peak. That's because we've got not only the sun entering your position of home and family, but a six planet stellium. Yes, six planets. So how do you feel about your home? How do you feel about your family? Are there things you need to resolve? It might all come to a head with some big thing happening this week that kind of you have to put your energy into it. Never mind though, because on the 20th, it's all change. And this is when you really got your love mojo on. You and Scorpio over the next two weeks really have love in the air one way or the other. Now for you on the 20th, Moon, Venus and Mars are all entering your position of fun, creativity, flirtation, excitement and childlike joy. Yeah, baby, what are you going to do with that energy? I would put it into my love life if I were you, but if you're not into that, you're at your most creative and you're, you're, you're kind of passionate about life and you're just feasting on everyday experiences, which is great. Now, if that wasn't enough, on the 22nd, we have a conjunction of Venus and Mars. And it's again in that position of just joyful soulmate passion flirtation. And if you're not in a relationship, creativity. And it's about balancing your creativity and putting your passion into your creativity. Anyway, it's a rare occurrence with Venus and Mars just being half a degree away from each other in the sky. That is full on. You're exuding charisma and star quality. And it's just all about new beginnings and fabulousness. Now, as we move on to the following week, we have a pentagram and Juno is saying to you, I'm going to show you how to expand and truly be yourself, but in a way that's right for you, not in the way that your head thinks or even your heart thinks in a way that is genuinely right for you. And it's going to bring about a fundamental shift in your relationships to yourself, to your friends, and definitely to your view on love and sexual relationships and flirtations and creativity. There's a part of you that really is finding this balance that you didn't even know existed and just being illuminated and your soul opened up and you become aware and you, you see the truth in everything and you have a deeper understanding. I'm calling this the year of the pentagram because that's, thank goodness it's not the year of the Cardinal Grand Cross like last year, it's the year of the pentagram. So, you know, you've got a lot of this balancing and awakening coming. On the 26th, the Sun and Neptune conjunction could bring about a few illusions when it comes to your home and family. Keep your feet grounded. Don't kind of go and put an offer on a house that's three times the 
at the amount that you wanted to buy a house for or anything like that because there's temptation there on the 26th venus mars and uranus bring unexpected pleasure joy and more excitement for you yes it's exciting you know you're going to connect with people in a brand new way hopefully you won't just be walking this week you will be bouncing take care and i'll speak to you soon